very good afternoon. Um, how are you people? Fine. Okay, it is a rainy day. The host has summoned 
the snake man to come and take the unwelcome visitor away. What happens next? Okay, can I have a volunteer to read the snake man? Yes.
stripes and experience that required courage. Courage is the bravery. Have you ever done something that challenged you? Have you ever done something that you feel you need a lot of courage to do that? Yes? <laughs> okay. It, it shouldn't be anything dangerous like the snake. It could be as simple as coming to the front and give a presentation. Okay, it takes a lot of courage. Okay? Right. So, if I ask you to write about this event, okay, you have to think of these questions. What did you do? Why did you do it? Right. For instance, you choose to talk about speaking in front of an audience. So what did you do? I have to speak in front of an audience. Why did you do it? It is part of my assessment for my English course, for instance. How did it make you feel? It made me feel nervous, for instance. What did it teach you about yourself? Yes, it taught me to be more confident. It taught me to be more okay, hardworking. Right? So these are the things that you discover. Now, I would like you to think very quickly of an event. Anything that you have done in your life which is challenging and write next to this sentence, to the questions. Okay, what did you do? Okay. Okay, presented or whatever, or okay, attempted, okay, a mini project or whatever. Okay, can you do it very quickly here and answer all the four questions under free writing? Do you already have one, Tiffany? Do you have anything? What event? Can you tell me? Lab. What? Okay. Uh, why? Why did you have to do the lab sessions? Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, doing the lab session help you to learn about what? Oh, I can do the machine. Mm -hmm. I can do the chemical. Okay. So you learn to discover new knowledge, right? Okay. So now. I would like all of you to look at page 125, the next page. Okay? I would like you to quickly fill in the blanks of two experiences. Okay? So where did the experience take place? How long did the experience last? For instance, you talk about okay, attending lab session. Okay? So you write that under experience one, attending lab sessions in web. Okay? When? Okay? You will say starting January till now. How long? Okay, four months. Where? Okay? Place the value. What clear and specific memories do you have of the experience? What do you remember throughout that event? Okay, describe that. Can you fill in the blanks on page one to five? Yes, two experiences. Yeah. Anything, anything up here. During your primary school, during your you know, matriculation, during your university years, or during your childhood. Okay, are you done? At least you if you couldn't think of two experiences, okay, at least complete one experience in the boxes. Okay, are you all done? Alright, now we are going to move to the next activity. In this activity, you are going to speak to your neighbor. Okay? Your neighbor is the one who is, who is sitting next beside you. So, okay, turn to the neighbor next to you. You turn to your neighbor. Alright, you have a neighbor. So, Bushra, okay, we are neighbors. Okay, Bushra, you will come and sit with me. So, what do you have to do with your neighbor is on page 126. Okay, on page 126, you are going to choose one experience from the chart that you would most like to write about. Okay, and then okay, describe to your partner the event that you chose. So what about it? 
So I would like you to look at exercise two. When you describe to your partner, tell what was the event. When you describe to your partner, what tense are we going to use? Past tense. Why? Because this event has already happened in our life. So we are going to use simple past tense. So as we tell or describe the event to our neighbor, we are going to brainstorm additional words which will help us to complete the story. Okay, so for instance, you have number one. I was in what? In a scary okay, place. I was in an okay, elegant place. I was in strange, or you can add other words. I felt what? I felt happy. I felt important. I felt nervous. I read. I cried. I fell. I spoke. I shouted. You can, okay? I want you to brainstorm as many vocabulary as you speak to your friend, alright? And then B, choose five words you wrote in part A and use them to write five sentences about your experience that you have told your friends today, okay? So choose. You have brainstormed the words with your friend after you listen to each other's story. And now, both of you are going to write your own sentences about your own experience. Are you all clear? And later on, we will pick at random okay, any pair that we would like to listen to their event. Okay? okay. So what did you learn from that experience? I... So you will not forget the event yeah. until today. Yeah, it's for the first time and I go to the other country. Other country. The country and the state. Yeah. So that was your first time in Thailand. Yeah. Right? Okay. So thank you, Tiffany. Okay. Now, boys and girls, you can see okay, a narrative organization. A narrative paragraph tells a story, just like what your friends did. Okay? So, normally in a narrative paragraph, on page 127, we will have a topic sentence. What is a topic sentence? A topic sentence tells the reader what the story will be about. Okay? You told me about your first visit to Thailand. Okay? It may also tell when and where the story took place. When? Two years ago. The topic sentence should capture the reader's interest. When you write, you should try to grab our attention to read on further about the story. And then we will have supporting sentences. What do we write in our supporting sentences? We tell the details of the story, including the sequence of events, meaning the order of the events, according to time order. Where, what happened first and what happened next. Okay? They also include sensory details. What are sensory details? Such as what you saw, what you heard, what you smell, or what you tasted. Okay? Sensory, using your five senses. You hear, you see, you listen, you taste, you smell. So all these you touch. So all these are sensory images, sensory details. Supporting sentences may also tell about the writer's feeling, about your feelings. You tell us about your feelings. I felt excited. I felt, okay, Busra told me about her first time, okay, on a roller coaster ride. But she told me it's going to be her first and her last time on the go roller coaster ride. Anyone has been on a roller coaster ride? Yes. Not have a chance yet? Okay, you can do it next week. Do you like it? Yes. yes. Okay. First and last also. I think girls are not keen with roller coaster rides. Yes. Boys? Okay. You haven't tried this? Go and try it. Yes. Have you been on a roller coaster, Tiffany? No. Yes. No. I don't. 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 I
conclude our story. How do we conclude? We wrap up our story. It may include <coughs> comments about why the experience was important to us. So we will say, okay, the visit to Thailand taught me, okay, how to make new friends. Or the visit to Thailand taught me to be more, okay, knowledgeable when, okay, learning new things. Or the, the ride on a roller coaster taught me okay, about courage. Okay? Right? Okay. Now, we are going to read a paragraph. The best hamburger of my life. Kaha, can you read that? The best hamburger of my life. <laughs> Invited. Could not. Could is the past tense of can. Okay. 
was sitting past continuous of sit order order okay past tense of order came past tense of come were shaking now your hands shaking okay okay shaking you have shaky hands could not okay and then i came okay came past tense took say say okay past tense of say next got past tense of get started past tense of start okay started talking and enjoying okay they were were okay were is the okay we had good and the next one was delicious burger a past tense of eat was eating so can you see that the verbs you are going to write using simple past and past continuous when you describe the action at that point of time when it happened you write using past continuous okay are you clear on the story okay let us look at b section b page 1 to 8 we are going to examine or look closely at the paragraph okay to answer these questions Number one, underline the topic sentence. What information appears in the topic sentence? What is a topic sentence? A topic sentence will tell the readers what the story will be about. So where do you think is the topic sentence? Where is the topic sentence, do you think? Topic sentence is going to tell us about what the story will be about. So, what is the story about? At the beginning, normally, topic sentence will come at the beginning. So, where? I had a great surprise at the hotel in Toronto. Okay, when I was the team. I had a great surprise. So we will be wondering what was the great surprise. We want to know more about it. So that is your topic sentence. Okay, we are going to read the following events. Can you on page one to eight? A, B, C, D, E. Can you number them in the order? Which one happened first? Number two. B number two. Read the following events. Number them in order in which they occurred in the paragraph. So which one happened first? C is number one. The writer asked the soccer player for his autograph. And then what happened? D, number two. Sergio invited the writer to have dinner. Okay, good. And then? B. The writer ordered a hamburger. Okay, and then what happened? B. The writer was very nervous and his hands were shaking. And the last one? E. The writer overcame his fear and enjoyed his dinner. So this is the storyline according to time sequence. It happens one after another. In the concluding sentence, the writer explains what made him happiest. So which one describes his final comment? A, B, C or D? B. B. He was able to spend time with his favorite soccer player. What did he say in the last line? That was the most delicious hamburger I ever ate in my life because I was eating it with my idol. So he was able to spend time with his favorite soccer player. Can we say that it's A? He was able to eat a good burger? No. No. I think the fact that made him the happiest is the fact that 
he got to spend time with his. Yeah. Who is your favorite soccer player? Neymar, Messi. One set hectare. Tiffany, do you like to watch football? Do you like? Do you watch Malaysian football? Watch. Kelantan. Kelantan Johor JDT. Okay, you can you know okay share your stories with the boys. Yeah. Okay, they also love Malaysian football. Okay. All right. Even the girls. Yes. The girls will look after the players. Not the game. Okay, so can you see how you can develop a narrative paragraph? Can you see that? Boys and girls, are you clear? Okay, so on page 129, if I want to ask you to write a story, this is how you are going to develop your story. In your topic sentence, you will begin by telling us what is the story about? Where and when did it take place? And then in your supporting sentences, you will write what happened first, what happened next, what else happened, and how did the experience end? And finally, how do you end? You end by saying what was important about the experience and how did it affect you? Okay? So, in order for you to write a good narrative paragraph, this is the structure that you are going to write. Are you all clear? Yes. Okay? So, okay? We will move on to the next one, which is, okay, something white. Alright? The man in black. What, what, did, what is the, the, word, the wording on your t-shirt? If at first, if at first you don't succeed, try, try again. Okay, that wow. is a good motivational. Yeah. 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 Okay. All right. Can you read for us?
I was floating completely free like a bird. All my problems were gone, and I could see the curve of the earth, the ocean, the and faraway clouds of the shore. It was awesome. Those wonderful moments helped me to realize that I am the kind of person who likes to take this. And I hope I always will be. Now, let's okay. listen. Can you visualize? Can you picture this scene in front of your eyes? Yes or no? Yes. When he was reading aloud, can we see that event, you know, coming okay, into life? Why? Why do you think you can picture the event? Because Details, very good. Because the writer gave us the detail. Can you give can you give me an example of one detail that is very clear to you? I was I was shouting. Can you imagine he was shouting? Okay, the fact that he said three, two, one, can you imagine that? Yes. So you have details. What else do you have? What are the sensory details given to you that you can hear, that you can touch, that you can smell, that you can listen to? Adrenaline running through. Adrenaline is your yes, your hormone. So you can okay, all the nerves, nerves, your sensation. Okay. What else? Anything to do with your sensory? I was floating completely free like a bird. It gives you the detail like a bird. So you can imagine how we float like a bird. Would you like to feel that? dare to go on a marriage. <laughs> <laughs> Girls don't. No, no thank you. Yes. Yes? Have you all been on a parachute jumping before? No. no. Okay. Okay. Have you all been on a jump bungee jumping before? We should tie your they will tie your legs. Okay, you can jump off from a bridge for instance. You can go to Jabatat Kedua Pulau Jump off. Okay? It is very risky, okay. But those are for the daredevils. So you can see that if you give details, it will help the readers to feel, okay, the event coming to life, okay. So this is the good, okay, use of sensory and emotional details. Let us move to page hundred and thirty-two. Using sensory and emotional details. So, in order to make a narrative paragraph interesting, writers include sensory details and emotional details. Sensory to do with your senses, emotion to do with your feelings. Good. Sensory details, okay, such as my teeth were chattering. Chattering. If you say my teeth were chattering, ah, chattering. This is how you explain. My legs felt like jelly. Okay. The morning sun warmed my back. Emotional details is to do with feelings. Suddenly, my fear vanished, and I felt confident as I looked out at the crowd. Vanish means disappear, gone, disappear, or gone. Good. And I felt confident. The sight filled me with excitement. Okay? So can we try the next one? S for sensory details, E for emotional details. The morning mist brought in the smell of the ocean. So that is to do with sensory. We were very nervous, so we called the police. Emotional E. So you can write using sensory details because 
that will help us to imagine or visualize or picture the event which took place. Okay? Are you all clear? Okay, any questions so far? Now, let, me, let us move to page 134. 134, okay, showing order of events in narrative paragraphs. How do we show order? We may use sequence words, okay, to show time order. Or time, in other words, we say chronological. Chrono. Chrono is time. So chronological logic according to time. So what are the words that you use? You can say next, finally, after that, eventually, afterwards, a little while later, then, soon, later, okay? Firstly, okay? Secondly, we unpack the car and set up our tent. After that, we build a fire and cook our food. So what happened first? What, do you, what did we do first? Unpack the car and... Yes, the tent. And then what, what do we do? Build a fire and cook. Our entire family squeezed into the car and soon we were on our way. Can we make the journey before getting into the car? No. Alright, we have to get into the car before we hit the road. Okay? So, you can also show simultaneous events. Simultaneous events mean at the same time, there are more than one action which happened or which took place. So, what are the words that can help us to do that? We can use meanwhile, while, at the same time. I made coffee. Meanwhile, my brother tried to distract our mother. Okay? So, at the same time, I am, okay, preparing coffee. My brother tried to distract my mother from going to the kitchen because we want to surprise her with our coffee, which is tasteless. It's not like her coffee. Right? I was planning a surprise party at the same time that I was getting ready to move. So there are two things that happen here. One, you plan to have a surprise party. At the same time, you also have to move hostel. You have to move elsewhere. So you are doing two things at the same time. So when you want to combine that in the story, okay, you can say, I was planning a party at the same time that I was ready to move. Okay? I okay, I read the book. Meanwhile, my brother was playing okay, computer games. Right? So now can we try to identify the order? Okay, you have A, B, C, D until H. Can you rearrange them? So number one is done for you. You have to identify the rest to make up the event. Do you already have the answer? And I also want you to underline the simple past and the past continuous if you have any in the sentences. So what do you think is number two? One, a few years ago my two older brothers and I went trekking in the mountains. So two? Okay, D. About the snow, which one should come first? Uh. You talk about losing trail in the snow, or you talk about it began to snow first? Began. Yes. Before you introduce a new subject, so we, before you talk about it, there must be the subject we discussed before. Okay, there must be a discussion about that subject. So we say eventually it began to snow. Right, so then will you say we should turn around because we were losing trail in the snow. Are you all clear? Yes. So this is a good okay narrative paragraph. It talks about okay the event according to time sequence. Okay? 
So on page 135, you have a checklist. What is the checklist? It is for you to answer when you okay, complete a paragraph. Does the paragraph have a topic sentence that tells what the story will be about? Do the supporting sentences tell details of the story? Does the writer use sensory and emotional details? Does the writer use sequence words and transition words to explain order of events? And does the paragraph have concluding sentence that wraps up the story? Okay, conclude the sentence. Okay. So far, are you clear of the organization? Alright, because these are the way that you are going to write in your final exam. Okay, so on the next page, 136, this is just a recap of what we have learned before. Using the simple past, forming simple past, okay, in your sentences, and then how to use the past continuous and form past continuous in your sentences. Okay? Right, how good we are. Okay, page 138. 138. Exercise 2. 138. Exercise 2. We are going to read this paragraph and there are 10 mistakes on simple past tense. Okay? Can we correct them together? Yes. Okay. Circle them. Ten mistakes of simple past tense. So look at the verbs which should be in the past tense. Did you manage to get ten mistakes? Can you spot ten mistakes? Compare your answers to your neighbor. Can I see a raise of hands of those who managed to get 10 mistakes? 10. You manage, you manage to spot 10 mistakes? Okay. Can you tell me number one? What is that? Decide. Decide should be decided. Good. Next, number two? Wake or wake up? Woke. Good. Three? Sorry, we? We want wanted. Okay, good. Three. Stay. Stay, become. Stay. Good, next. And we, we did not rot. We did not rot, were we? Why? Did not rot. is the past tense of? Bring. 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 Yes, bring. Good. But the water tells, okay? Did not bring B R I N G. Next. We become tired. We become what we? We became. Okay? Next. We is not want this. Okay? Did not want it will be? Did not want. Remember, did not. You cannot add ed anymore to the verb. If you use did not, did not want. Okay, next. But we did not have a scholar. We did not have. Yes, very good. We did not have enough water is incorrect. You should write we did not have. Have, have, have. We, we. Okay, plural. We have. Have is the base form. Had is the okay, past tense. Yes. Next. Yes, I learn. will become learn. L e a r n e t. The last one. Next. There's one more. There's one more you miss. What is the correct answer? We was thirsty too. We were. We was thirsty too. That
that is wrong. We cannot say was. We plural must take we were. Can you see that, Tiffany? Anyone? Can you see that? Okay. Alright. So all in all, you will have spotted ten mistakes. So, boys and girls, can you now write a good paragraph? Because, okay, you manage to identify mistakes in simple past. If you are aware of your tenses, you can write a perfect paragraph. Trust me, I am certain you can do it well. Because you know how to spot mistakes. If you know how to spot mistakes, you shouldn't write mistakes on your own. Okay? So can you try to write okay, a paragraph with perfect tenses of simple past? Can you try to do that? Yes? We should all try to do that. You will score well for your exam. Okay? On the next page, you have past continuance. You, my advice is you read the notes and then identify the okay, exercises. Attend the exercises. Now, I am going to assign you a homework. Okay? This whole unit is your homework for your semester break. Okay? I want you to use this as your bedtime story every night so that you will not forget me every night throughout the next week that I won't be seeing you. Okay? So every night before you go to sleep, you have to work at least one page of this unit. If you are lazy, you can work one page a day or a night. If you are hard working, you will spend the whole day working on this unit. So, yeah, or last minute, the day before you come to my Monday's class. Okay? It doesn't matter. But I want you to read through the notes again from the beginning until the end and attempt each exercises accordingly. Because trust me, if you can do this very structuredly, you can manage to write a good narrative paragraph, which is very important for your exam. Okay? And lastly, okay, lastly, turn to page 145, last page. <coughs> Having done all the exercises, answer all the reading comprehension questions, Okay, try that. The last one, I want you to write. Okay, look at the section, Topics for Future Writing. The very end of that page. Write a narrative paragraph. I want you to write at least one paragraph, like this length. Okay, okay 10 sentences in there. Write a narrative paragraph on one of the following topics. How you met someone who is important to you. The last time you celebrated a special holiday, a special memory from your childhood, a funny or embarrassing incident. Okay? Or you can choose to go for number two. Interview a friend, a classmate, a relative, siblings, your parents about something interesting that happened to him or her. Take notes and then write a narrative paragraph about your friend's experience. Up to you. You may choose topic one of the topic from number one, or you may choose to interview someone and then write a paragraph about what he or okay, uh, uh, what was his or her experience all about. Are you all clear? When you write, okay, you can use this page to write the paragraph. Okay, don't waste paper. Use this blank page to write your paragraph. When you write, I want you to remember to use everything that we have learned together in this unit. Sensory details, emotional details. What tenses are you going to write? Simple past and past continuous. And then if you if you couldn't remember what you should write, go to the checklist. Remember, the checklist will guide you 
on what you should write first until the end. Can you do that? Okay. So if you can, okay, I wish you okay happy holidays. Okay. <laughs> no holiday? Who's not doing that? Yeah. 